just to finish off what I was saying, because I got cut off there, because uh, I have limited time in the video. Sorry, I apologize. Um, yeah, there's a few Nintendo Directs coming up for like the rest of the year. We're guaranteed not to see Metroid, it's unlikely. Bayonetta, maybe, but that's also in early development, so who knows. The thing about Metroid, though, is that it seems to be that they're doing exactly what they did with Super Smash Bros. Brawl, announcing the game before they actually work on the game. So, just guesswork here. Metroid Prime 4 is probably... They probably just moved on to 3D character modeling and level design at the moment. They would have just come out of the concept art stage a few months ago, I don't know. So, uh, it's disappoint it, it is disappointing, but surprising I don't feel entirely let down. I do feel like it was a good E3, and not just because Ridley was in Smash. Which, like, Metroid was not absent from E3. The games were, but Metroid had a huge presence, because with Super Smash Bros, they really implied that Metroid is important. They showed Ridley, and it was all about Ridley against Samus. And then as you see Ridley getting siphoned by a Metroid. So they do care. They do care about Metroid, which is surprising for Nintendo. But um Yeah, speaking of Ridley's final smash, I'm confused as to how that would work, because he attacks Samus' gunship and blows it up, but like how's that gonna work with other characters? Is he just gonna throw them against her ship as well? I don't know. On the topic of Super Smash Bros. Ultimus, there was, um, they announced 66 characters were going to be in the game. Only 65 were shown, and on the website there is one missing. Who could it be? Uh, it's unlikely to be another Metroid character, but if it is, it needs to be Psyduck. They need to do some sort of promotion for Prime 4, or Metroid in general, but... They won't, probably not. But I'm hoping, you know, while we didn't get Metroid at E3, I'm hoping we can get s some sort of Metroid game in the next few months. Because I don't want to have to wait like another like two years almost for a brand new Metroid game. You know, I waited six years. Well, the fans waited six years. I only waited about like four years. But for Metroid Prime Federation Force. And then we had Samus Returns last year. And now we have nothing again. So it's like they teased us about a game that's not coming for, at that time, three years, two years. So it, it is frustrating, but, you know, it's, there's really nothing you can do. That's why it's really frustrating for me personally being a Metroid fan, because you're never guaranteed to see your game, unlike Mario or Zelda, which are always going to be there. Metroid is, like, hit or miss. Like, you never know. Um... I really don't know. Although, Retro could be developing the Metroid Prime trilogy since it sounds like they're making a Metroid game. They're, if they're making a Metroid Prime trilogy, they would have been developing it since 2014. Then they still have another year to make it Prime 3 because they would have only gotten a chance to do Prime and Prime 2 in that time. So, Metroid Prime trilogy on Switch could still be in development by Retro. Just throwing that out there. It's a possibility. Unlikely, but... Who knows? Um, yeah, I think that's all I want to say for this before the video cuts off again. I'll probably talk more. I'll do another like Metroid Switch video where I'll actually talk more about Metroid in detail. But yeah, overall, Nintendo Z3, it was good. It was really good. Just no surprises other than Ridley. I would like to have heard about like Metroid's development, like how far along is the development and is it going well, but... No luck. Um, Smash was great, and I'm looking forward to that. Definitely go and play that and Mario Party. So, yeah, but year two has been mediocre, but year three looks to be even more epic than year one. So, hoping all's well. Now, before the video cuts off, I'll do my outro. Thank you all for watching, and uh, please subscribe. Noah Score is out.